Hey, is that Mikey? Big Mick. How are we doing tonight? Bro, I don't even remember. I, I know I asked you last time, but I don't even know if you responded, dude. What's what's up with the, the coding life, dude? How's the courses going? Where are you at? You're so majestic and handsome. <laughs> dude, do you stop? Jesus. This guy. A lot of stuff going on. Finding balance. That's good. That's good. Um, you didn't answer my question, though. Are you taking a course right now, or are you done with courses? Hey, Kumar, over on YouTube. What's up? Hey, do you guys think I should have a, um, like a chat log for both YouTube and Twitch? So that you guys can see both of them. I don't, the only problem is I don't know how to do it very well. Like, what should it just be the text or should there be a background? Because I don't want to take up too much space. Look, okay, so we could do this, right? Ready? Um, let me try to get something going real quick. Oh wait, there's actually a chat box widget. So I added chat box. Oh, wait, wait, shit. How do I, um... Hold on. So, okay, we can move it over here, like this. So you guys can kind of see that, right? But it's not wide enough right now, I think. I would say I'm paused on the chorus. Wait, but this is only YouTube. This isn't showing Twitch. I'm a new game developer and I was trying to learn open world dev in Unity and saw your videos, so I thought I might as well join and learn. Hell yeah. Well, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm usually live uh, three times a week. So um, I'm, I'm usually working on this game Zen Fisher. It's the open world game I'm working on right now. So let me shut this door. Shit's loud as fuck out there. Yeah, so... Yo, what's up, Shinobi? No, it's nighttime here. That was my day. Oh man, I'm tired today. It's been kind of a long day, but I'm I'm hyped to work on this right now. So 
I just want to figure this shit out there real quick for you guys. No, I don't want to... I don't want it to stretch. Dude, sometimes Streamlabs is so annoying, man. I mean, I guess I could just make it bigger, like this. I don't know. Nah, that just scaled the text up. God damn it, bro. You've watched a bit of the open world series? Nice. Yeah, actually, um... How many, how many have you watched? There's three right now, but I'm going to be uh, releasing a fourth one this week, actually. So I already uh, recorded the whole fourth one. I just need to edit it a little bit. This is crazy. Like, what? It also only is getting YouTube, which is another annoying thing. You watch two out of three? Wait, Shinobi said sometimes or always? I'm planning on watching them all one year. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how many total though there will be. We'll see. Probably not more than 10. I'll probably stop somewhere between 5 and 10. I'm not sure yet. Number 2 is pretty dense, Kumar. So, <laughs> there's a lot of shit that went into number 2. If the post-processing is a little confusing, don't worry. That, that stuff's kind of hard. You don't need it at the beginning. But it's pretty cool stuff. Number 3 is... um. Is also fairly simple. Just talks about a bunch of little fixes. Day and night cycle because I want. Ooh, okay, yeah, let's do it. Um, I'll add that. I actually don't think I have that on my list of things. Day and night cycle. That's a that's a really good one. That's like a really good thing for this type of tutorial. So yeah, just so you guys know, um, these are the things that I'm gonna be. Well, we're on five now. The next one's gonna be five because I've already done four. But uh, these are some of the things that I I'm not doing these in any particular order. These are just things that I'm going to be showing you guys at some point, but um, third person I'm going to do at some point how to implement audio using this JSAM library. It's what I use for my game. I really like it. Uh, day and night cycle. That's really good. We'll do that. Um, I want to show you guys wind zones, which are really cool. Um, I already did. I did a bit of performance stuff in part three, actually. So I don't know how much more I'll do performance, but then building like mountains um, using extra terrain tools and then some more post-processing effects. Planning on doing all that. If you guys have suggestions or like what things that you want to see me cover, let me know and I'll add it. But I think there's at least three more videos worth of content from just these ideas alone. So we'll probably be going at least to part seven. More vids, there are less views they gather. Wait, sorry, what do you mean? Also, I have lots of problems with building interiors as textures always clip into each other. Ooh, yeah. Inside of buildings are really tough. Inside design is real is one of the hardest things for uh, just design in general and art. Because, like, whenever you interact with anything, like, you have to, like, somehow look inside of a building. So you have to, like, design everything such that you can kind of turn off the roof. 
conveniently so that you can like look inside and or like turn off the walls i don't know i really suggest like grouping all the walls in the roof as one object whenever you're designing anything like that so that you can just turn it all off and on but yeah it's just pretty annoying if you make vids in the same series more parts it has the less views each yeah that's true that's true well you know, I could just make it, like, I could just make this series kind of, like, some continuous series, make it last a few more. And then I could kind of take each idea and I can make a video by itself about that topic and not make it part of the series. And maybe expand a little bit more, make it, like, a 10-minute video. So, at least it gives me room to do other things. But, yeah, I agree, man. Each vid's kind of getting less and less. Oh, actually, you guys, um, I got monetized today on YouTube. So that's massive, dude. That has been four and a half months in the making. So I'm fucking hyped. Yeah, it's, it's huge, dude. God, it's been an absolute grind. Literally got it today, 4,000 hours. You need to head out, Kumar? Alright. Yeah, man. Hey, I hope to see you uh, again soon. When you're less busy, I'll be... Uh, I'm usually live every every other day or so. Okay. Um, well, I'm really annoyed working on this... Stupid-ass... chat box browser settings what is this oh there we go okay I finally figured out how to make it wider Oh, I don't got time for game dev debt right now? Damn. That's the worst, bro. Everyone's gotta be on that grind. It's hard to find time for game dev, dude. Game dev's so time consuming. Okay, I just made the font a little smaller, but it erased everything. The only other thing is I can't seem to get Twitch to also show up. Like, where is the options for Twitch? Is it just because nobody's talking in Twitch, maybe? Here, let me do a test message. Oh, yeah, Twitch works. Okay. Cool. Alright, you guys should be able to see all chat from now on. Is that pretty good? Should I make any changes there? Or are we, are we liking it? We'll just keep that for now. Not really sure like what a better place is. <laughs> it's just kind of sitting there. But, whatever. So, let me get in the right headspace now. We're gonna be... I've been working on a quest system in Zen Fisher. Shit has gotten really complicated because... I don't know if you guys ever realized this, but quest systems are complicated as hell. Like, you wouldn't think it, but they are. You have to have so much going on. Um, but anyways. Let's check out a couple things. So, yeah, okay. So, thing number one 
basically we implemented this like exclamation point above the head. But the, the thing that we need to fix right now is we need the the icon to always face us. Right now it is only facing one direction. So it needs to rotate with the camera. So let's try to fix that. Wait, what is I-E-L-T-S? Okay, so we have this update method. Ah, oh, shit, wait. Let me check something real quick. proficiency oh, okay okay so where is the shit we have a request icon so when we play this it's disabling this huh Damn. Okay, wait, that's kind of annoying. Hold on. Let's add just like a, yeah, let's make like a list. Icon, uh, list of game objects. Actually, let's just make it an array. Icons. Okay, so then we're just going to say in the update function for each icon and icons if if icon dot game object dot if it is active then we say icon dot transform dot rotation. So we want to rotate it towards the player camera. Game manager dot instance dot player dot player.
Okay, then we want to get look direction, which is forward. Dot transform dot forward. So then we want to. Oh, well, it's all. Got fifteen eleven. When did you take it? Your screen is blurred. Wait, my screen is blurred. Wait, the screen is blurred? Like... Can't use transform.lookap? That's true, except we don't want to... Oh, actually, yeah. Sorry. No, that's perfect, yeah. Okay, thanks. I totally forgot about that method. That's really nice. Okay. Let's try that. Hopefully I got that access that camera correctly. Oh my gosh, I'm genius. Dude, that's that was clutch right there actually. That made it a lot easier, yeah. Let's see. Ah oh, fuck. There's no camera to oh yeah, that's right. Fuck. Um we have to get the camera in a different way. Cause it's not actually attached to the player. Do I, like... <laughs> I should have, like, a camera. There's just, there's no way I don't have a player camera in the, uh... That's pretty fucking stupid. I should just put one in here. Mikey, you're here? Oh, okay. Sorry, I forgot to respond to what you were saying. I could do camera.main, but I just get nervous about doing that in case I ever rename this. But I'm just going to do it this way, where I basically do um, game manager, and then we're just going to drag, drag this camera in. Like that. Okay, and then uh, back to quest icon. So now we should just be able to do... Dot camera dot transform look at when you do look at you do it to a transform right yeah okay. you're gonna be resuming the course soon Mikey that's good man it's good to hear it's hard to balance life sometimes your scene is so clean what do you mean by that like the actual game scene or the hierarchy Oh, boys, look at that shit. No way we actually did it. So now it looks at us. What does it look like really up close? <laughs> no, that's fine. It kind of like looks down, though. <laughs> I feel like that's a little strange. It should only change in the... Um... Let's see, it shouldn't... It's rotating like this. This way, we don't want it to rotate that way. What axis is that? Ugh. It's like... Hold up. It looks like it's the X. Basically, the X and the Z rotation should be zero, so... What I think we should do is just do icon dot transform dot 
rotation equals um, we'll just set it to zero on the um, X and Z values. Ah, oh, it's a fucking quaternion though, dude. Um, can I just set it like boiler? Yeah. Hierarchy? Oh, you like the hierarchy? Yeah, actually, I reorganized a bit today because I had so much shit. Yeah, I have the effects. Effects, terrain. I don't know. I need to do something with all this shit, but... Yeah, it was starting to get so crazy that I needed to do some reorganization. Do you have a plugin in Visual Studio to change the colors? Um, yeah, I do. It's called One Dark Pro, I believe. I forget where to check what my theme is. Theme. Yeah, I have the One Dark Pro. I really like it. Um, how do we... <sighs> how do we set... <laughs> I want to make a rotation. I want to make a quaternion. Quaternion, whatever they're called. Andre Ramiro says use Quaternion. I uh, I need to make a Quaternion out of this. I forget how to do it. From two rotation. Boiler rotation. Look rotation. Like, does this work? Ah, oh, fuck me. That didn't work. Should we use um, a little chat GPT? to set the rotation. Wait, you think I have a solution? All right, man, if you can beat ChatGPT, Oh, the transform has an Euler angles property. Instead of rotation, we can just do Euler angles. I knew it was something easy. Mikey, you still got that hype though for game dev? All right, well now it's not I think it's because this doesn't actually update it. Yo, what's up, Toxic Thief?
Does it actually update it here or? I'm like, actually, I'm a little confused. Um, let's print it out before and after. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's because of this. This needs to be Euler angle. We were getting the quaternion value, not the Euler angle value. Toxic Thief, dude. Been a little bit. How you doing, bro? There we go. Okay, so now if we go there, it's working. I think. Yeah, rotation zero now. Okay, cool. So we got our quest point working. Nice. No way, this man just came in here and redeemed 25 big push ups, bro. No fucking way. Well, I got the, the chats up, but, uh... Does chat need, like, a little background, do you think? Is that just, like, fucked up right now? Oh shit. can't. I don't know why the background's actually just invisible. Target position equals new vector. Well, the, the look at worked for us, yeah, but then I needed- I didn't want it to actually, like, look down at us if we were, like, underneath it. I just wanted it to be, like, looking in this direction, so it only rotates on the y-axis. So, yeah, we, you know, we use the look at here to get the right y rotation, and then we just set the x and z uh, rotation values to zero. Alright, I'm gonna do the 25 for you, Toxic Thief, you, you bitch. Okay, no way. No way this guy said look at that bussy. Kumar, you gotta go now too? Alright, dude. Can't wait for part four. Oh yeah, dude. It'll be out by this weekend for sure. See you, dude. Take it easy. Alright, let's add. Toxic Thief? Is that the first time you redeemed, dude? Now I got another guy redeeming. 
Jesus. It is on cooldown. You, <laughs> you gotta wait at least 10 minutes before you give me more. Okay, cool. So our quest icon works. Let's... Yo, have you guys heard about... um? Hightail. It's the makers of like sky like high pixel Minecraft shit. They have some game coming out soon. It's gonna it's gonna get published in twenty twenty three. It looks fucking sick, dude. Jobs. You can apply for a job with them. I want to get back in the skyblock. I forgot how to do shit, dude. That's that was me like a few days ago. I was like, what the fuck? I can't remember how to even open my inventory, dude. Alright, I'm exaggerating, but... What is Hightail? I don't- I'm playing this shit. Let's watch the trailer. Is that not just a Minecraft server? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's it's their own game. Jesus Christ, they have so much shit. <laughs> Can't wait to play this when I'm retired. GG's. Same. Looks fucking sick. The crazy thing is they posted that trailer five years ago. So they've been they've been at work, bro. So, basically, this is the deal, you guys. So, basically, 
We have a quest. Maybe? No, we don't have a quest. Where is our quests? Why is this over here? Right, okay. So... Yeah, let's go look in some things. Quest... I think it's just quest. <laughs> oh, shit, it's so confusing. Yeah, I need, I need something new to play too, yeah, man. How was I doing this, dude? It's like, there's like a quest? So the quest point so on submit pressed we've been playing portal 2 together recently it makes you realize how much split potential split game had yeah, I feel like Splitgate just didn't have the... They just didn't have the artists that they needed. They didn't They didn't really have the experience as a studio to carry it further than it got. Start quest. Right, so... So we just need to call submit pressed, but we need to call submit pressed when we finish talking to our NPC. Which means... <laughs> this, this is so annoying, dude. We need to basically call a C-sharp function from uh, an ink story, which I haven't done yet. Here, just to test things out for now, let's just say, like, in, um... So inside of player interact... Let's just call, um... Just for now, we'll do. <sighs> Where does this get called? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, 
I see. Okay. So we're just gonna call game events manager dot instance dot input events dot submit press two. So that's just whenever we Sure. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Shane? How we doing? Dude, I'm making a quest system right now. It's fucked. But here, this is gonna be this is an exciting part because it's probably gonna f completely fail and won't actually do anything. Okay, so we have a quest point here. So we come up here and we click. We're gonna use our interact key. Oh god. It did something. <laughs> uh. What did it do? If can start and start point, which is what we just had, and then it calls this start quest quest ID. Oh. Mind test is the best Minecraft clone? What the fuck is a mind test? Dude, yeah, making a quest system just makes me realize how insanely complex quest systems are in games. Like, RuneScape's quest system is probably so fucking complex. Like, dude. Okay, let's look at the quest point. Well, we, we have this. So it's supposed to, like... Start quest, quest ID. Okay, so then it goes into start quest, on start quest. So then in our quest manager, it should run the start quest. Let's make sure that's actually happening. Yeah, and then it should instantiate. In the quest manager, we do have quest managers in here somewhere. Oh, oh, maybe it did. And I just didn't have this open. Okay. Let's try this again. Yo, what's going on with all this shit, though? Oh god, it's just making a fuck... It's really bad. Whatever, okay. So we're gonna come over here. Wait, what? Ugh, hold on. Okay, now we can start a quest again. Okay, we start the quest. Let's look in our quest manager. Yes, okay, there it is. We've it instantiates our quest. So now we have our our quest loaded into the game. Can't 
can't even imagine. So I can barely imagine how to do this shit right here. Making something like a RuneScape would be impossible. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's look at, um, if we go into debug mode, we can actually look at these variables. Okay, so it says we're on step index zero. Collect fish quest step. That's our, that's our quest step right now. Oh wait, sorry, no, I'm on the uh, wrong thing. This is what I'm on. Right, okay, so it's just instantiated this step. So basically, if we come into the game now and then we like fish, let's catch a fish. Hey, look, so fish collected went up one. So our quest step is logging our pros progress. <laughs> has so much going on. Let's now let's get to two and see what happens. See if it works. Okay. It properly completed that quest step by destroying itself. Now let's try to do something else, which is let's have let's make two quest steps. So the first one Uh, I don't know if I like this design because... Uh, I would have to create a new prefab for every different type of step. That seems fucking terrible. That ball's kind of small. I mean, who's doesn't? Okay, what the fuck, Mikey? Hold on, I'll be right back. Jesus.
Okay, what is that picture? Is that like a little chip, dude? What is that? Let's make a... Step two. And then we'll add this. And then um, the second one... Oh. Mr. JD doing up at these hours? I don't know, this kid's always fucking awake. Verse 2K with a whopping 11 viewers? Wait, what? Are you serious? You must be down bad, bro. Yikes, live 41 minutes, 17 viewers. Celebrate September, you guys, presented by Team Fight Tactics. Five and gay followers, only 17 are watching. Dude. How, like, how good is he in Valorant? Is he at least Radiant? Dude, I've been thinking about booting some good old runes. Old school runescape up, dude. I mean, at least now I can just, like, change these. Let's just make that... Let's make the first one one. And we'll make the second one two. And then our quest has both of these, so now... Uh, where is... <laughs> saving this shit somewhere. to save shit right now. You gotta hop on a game again sometime. Dude, me and Dog were just literally just talking about this the other day. What about when um that high high game comes out? What is it called? Well I'll hop on that shit. Dude, okay, whatever, man. Ah. Uh. Okay. Exclamation point. Let's very closely watch this shit. Okay, we have our quest step here. We gotta go catch one fish. Ready?
Okay, we... Um... Fuck, it didn't add the next one. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, let's look. So it should call advanced quest. So we started quest, and then at some point it should call advanced quest. Move to next step. All right, let's just de debug right here. Dude, I'd be down to fucking run some skyblock. I just gotta use a new cookie or whatever. Okay, so we start the quest. We're debugging, right? Okay. Let's go catch a fish. Okay, it's not calling advanced quest, that's why. What's your current sleep schedule looking like? Two a.m. to four a.m. sleep, dude. Shut up. Um, on advance. Quest. On quest state change. For some reason, on advanced quest isn't getting called. G 
Jesus Christ, what are you guys saying? is going on West state change, huh? Which TikTok has 700k views? Okay, well this, I mean, this makes sense. On advanced quest is not getting called ever. So I just like forgot to put it somewhere. I don't know where I'm supposed to put it though. Guess who's back? My man, dude, I thought this man died. Where have you been, bro? Holy shit. Fuck. How's the gaming going? It's going okay. I'm trying to make a quest system, it's pretty complicated, it kinda sucks. <sighs> Ch 
Change quest state. state changed fuck is going on here dude find all oh it's just change whoops okay we have an event for it this one either uh wait wait i might know what's going on here right okay Plus state chain. We want to search for the function name, not the uh, event name. Henry, dude, what have you been up to, bro? You been doing any game dev? Okay, so, I mean, we assign the events here. So when we start, sure, for every for every quest that's in progress we start it, we do a quest date change event, sure. So then we also, we know this is happening, so that is getting called. Okay, so then the question is, um, advance quest state. Where is that happening? Oh, it's just called Advanced Quest. Or, sorry, no, it's called... Okay, Advanced Quest. Where are all these guys? Ah, oh, here it is. I commented it out. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that something had to be going weird there. Okay. Ooh, finally found that shit. That was brutal. Henry, yeah, a lot. I'm trying to try out other things like main VR stuff. Nice. Hey, yeah, it's good to experiment, dude. At the end of the day, you gotta just experiment a ton when you're getting started with game dev because it's like it's too hard to actually make anything polish and finish. You just gotta get better for a while. I'm still getting better. I'm trying it again though. I'm trying to actually make a game. It's risky. Okay, here we go. Ready, you guys? So we interact to start the quest. Our quest is to go get one fish, so... Yep, that works. Good. Um... Continue, please. Son of a bitch, dude. Let's try this again. Okay, right. So we have our we have our quest step here. We're currently in an active quest. So we have to get one fish to complete. We currently have zero, so we're gonna go collect a fish. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, dude. Such a stupid system. I need to change the system. I just want to make sure this shit works and then we're going to change it up probably. Let's try this again. Oh no. Get quest by D. Alright, just debug here. Fuck man. No idea. That looks fine. That looks fine. Gotta get that full melon armor? That's what we're trying to get to. God, why is making a game so ass? I mean, yeah, we're just gonna collect a fish here. And then... Oh, it's passing a null ID? Get quest by ID, huh? Let's go back. Try this again. Oh no. I broke something. Drink water? Alright, I got you. Is that one bit or something? What is that? And cheered one. He's trying to hack the system. What did I? What did I even change? Request by ID, huh? 
Get quest by ID. Why is why would get quest by ID be passing in null? Okay, buddy. Henry with the other follow. We'll take it, we'll take it. Number 651. You're number one because you're the only donor? Hell yeah. Do you even make any money off of bits? I make like 50% of the money that you give me off bits. It's kind of a bad deal, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. No, you can't do more water like that, dude. You can only... You can only redeem for water. <laughs> That's why there's only there's a time limit on it. Quest Manager. We didn't change anything in Quest Manager. I'm gonna just delete this shit because I don't know. We don't need it. How's the game coming along? I mean, we're just working on this quest system. It's it's rough, bro. Just literally everything. Anything I do, everything I do is rough at this point. We're so deep into this game. It's fucking hard. Arindam, yo, what's up? Over on YouTube. How you doing, man? Wow, here working on Zen Fisher. I am just so confused. Oh, wait, what? Why is this here? Somehow I moved this into the scene accidentally, I think. Let's try this again. Okay, we have our quest. Boom, we started our quest. Let's go catch a fish. Okay. We caught a fish. You guys can see that we have our quest step here. We caught one fish out of two fish. Let's go catch another fish. Okay, we caught the fish. Advance. Okay, we got rid of the bug. Now the question is, can I copy and paste these things real quick? Ugh, fuck me. Delete. Where's my father, Mr. JB at? Is he asleep now, dude? That bitch. Random, how's your night going? Or morning? Is it morning for you? Here, I'm gonna try to do this now. Because I got really confused last time. This one's gonna have three fish, okay? Now let's add this to a quest, as a part of our quest step. I have two quest steps in our quest. Let's start. No way, dude. This kid's still up. So in this video, my e-boyfriend took me on a date inside of Minecraft? <laughs> what? Wait, that's literally like 10 mil views right there. 
It's 1.47 a.m. for me and I'm watching your stream. Dude, where 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 you been, Henry? What you been up to last like week or whatever? Okay, you guys, here we go. Ready? This is a moment of truth for me. We caught one fish. Yes. Okay, we're we're on to step two now of of the quest, and now we're gonna. Will it start counting? Yes. Okay, it counts. We have multiple steps in our quest now. Fuck yeah. You should do do something like that. Honestly. Also, why am I? Okay, let's let's do this one more time. This should disappear when we catch a fish. For some reason, it said we didn't catch a fish. There we go. Okay, caught a fish. Disappeared. For some reason I'm recording. I don't know why. Oh, that reminds me. I need to start recording at least once per stream. Where the character model is going to be, I'm not really sure yet. Like something low poly. But I want it to be stylized. Like I want it to have a feel, you know? So I don't want to be very generic. We'll see. We'll see how much I can get into that. It's tough. Wow, this is actually crazy, dude. You guys, we have quests. Multi-step quests. <laughs> grunt dude what dog wait what did we say the other day when we were talking in discord about the bestiary dude i was actually laughing so hard you have no idea oh about to go grind fucking 347 greater wolves get my bestiary up <laughs> dude, wait. yeah man why do you discord me so much i can't even find it um, I'm about to search bestiary in my uh, DMs with dog. What was this? Oh yeah, this is okay. It all started because I linked my top five videos in uh, get bestiary up quick with this tip. It's <laughs> still my top short I've ever posted. Bestiary is still chilling in my top five. Okay, I guess there's a different day that we... <laughs> okay, what is this conversation? <laughs> wait oh yeah I logged on a TFT and this man said gotta empty those minions and then dog just said time to grind that bestiary <laughs> I'm okay why did I just laugh gotta grind that bestiary dude now I'm grinding for full melon armor. Only 67,938 melons to go. <laughs> Dude, fucking grinding those melons out for melon armor. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm actually laughing so hard. Dude, that one time you were like, I almost have felt full melon armor. <laughs> and then I was literally like, hold on. Let me check how many more melons I need to get full melon armor. And it was like 600,947 or something. Dude, I'm crying. <laughs> I thought I was close. <laughs> I had like 600,000 more melons to go. I had just been grinding it all day, dude, for like 10 straight hours. <laughs> I'm actually dying right now. I'm crying. <laughs> how many melons I mean, you're like you would be like dude you need uh, eight enchanted melons and I'm like how many melons is that dude <laughs> oh you'd be like oh you need like 16,000 melons <laughs> dude 
What is wrong with that game? This shouldn't be so funny. They, wa they wanted 175 enchanted melons for four copper. <laughs> what a ripoff, dude. Literally, me is playing this game. Time to put some Cocoa Mean minions down. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm actually laughing. It's way too much right now. Is that Brutus? Brutus is actually in the chat. Bestiary, Brutus. Bestiary, okay? Gotta grind the bestiary. Wait, Brutus, you lied to me about Mikey playing? I thought you said Mikey was playing. Henry, what? Hey, Spader, huh? What? <laughs> Look who's number one. Henry's on top with about fucking four bits or some shit. Mikey told me he was gonna play. Okay, buddy. Look at your message, I had an idea. Which one? Oh, what you can do is that when you catch a fish, it has a little animation of the fish flying out of the water and into your inventory. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do some shit like that. We gotta work on fishing at some point. But okay, we're getting this quest system going. We just saw that we have multi-step quest progression working. I'm not entirely happy with these like quest steps though. They're kind of like making them this as a prefab is kind of ass. Well, okay, <clears throat> the only thing that I'm annoyed with is that I'm not sure the best, like... Ugh. We need to be able to adjust this at value at runtime, basically, like the values of these. I think ideally I would have like, um, uh, I don't know, man. It's actually kind of hard. I don't know. I'm going to come back to that and think about it, but having like very custom quests is kind of hard, I guess. Like you could have say like, um, an item collection, like I'm thinking of like general quests types you have like an item collection where like the only requirement is as long as you get the items you finish the quest step so that could be one type of quest but then they're also i don't think you can make like a collect fish quest the same as a collect items quest because like collecting fish shouldn't just be having them in your inventory it should be actual process of like fishing it so that's like a different type of a quest. So then in that case, I would probably create a different like C-sharp script. But then from those scripts, we need to instantiate then a game object. I, I think the best way to do this is to have like a prefab for each of these, for each of the scripts. And then we have just like Ugh. God damn, I don't actually know how to do this. Probably scriptable objects. 
Jesus Christ, what are you guys saying? We need more water? This man and his fucking water. This guy is obsessed. Henry's never gotten an allowance. <laughs> Brutus is going Mikey mode. Brutus is never, uh, never short with keeping it real. Can you make a redeem for don't drink water so I can counter Henry's redemptions? <laughs> Well, I could, but I would have to make it, like, more than drink water. So, I don't know. Can I go back to grinding COD 26 hours a day straight? Yeah, no thanks, dude. How about going back to uh, Fortnite grind 26 hours straight? Use his final cut for tracking and transitions? Yeah, I think Dog's gonna go insane if he doesn't get a better way of tracking his fucking shit, dude. One man can only do so many caption tracks. I'm fine with 101. <laughs> no, it's gonna have to be more than that, Virtus. What if I did... What if I did like 300? 300, you can counter a water request. Might make it. Is Fortnite still even a game? I don't know, dude. But uh, apparently Reverse 2K should never have stopped streaming it because... Uh, Whatever he does now, he's at a fat 23 viewers, dude. There's there's some nights that I might just beat him streaming game dev. How pathetic would that is that? Imagine getting less viewers on a bad night. As a former FNCS two-time champion, esports pro, than some fucking regular old average Joe streamer streaming game dev. <laughs> that must hurt, dude. He must have, like, does he just have absolutely zero personality? You're not an average Joe Spader, you're a grinder? I'm trying to be a grinder. Make it 500. Henry's trying to bargain. Maybe we'll see. I'll consider it. I'll try to find the right price point. Oh, I don't want to listen to this guy. I just do. I, imagine if I just kept doing the skyblock shorts, bro. I'd probably be making millions by now. <sighs> okay. Anyways, where are we at? This has to change, but I'm gonna. We're gonna come back to it. We don't. We don't really need to change this right now. It's a little clunky. We're gonna figure this out though. So the next thing to figure out is how to trigger in like a, a submit quest, like a start quest or something from a dialogue or a continue quest from a dialogue. So I would say here we need to create like, um,
dialogue quest step, probably. This man is a bitch, dude. It's September. Do you have 250? Can't you subscribe for 250? You don't have to use those dog shit bits. I wonder how many subs Kai has, dude. Support with the fucking September. Anywhere want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. Let's ah. fucking go. I don't know what accent that was, but that was my own accent. Let's fucking go, mate. Nah, I should just not do accents. Tech support, dude. How's your night going? Or morning? Morning, that's what I mean. This man donated six bits. <laughs> Not enough to get the noti. Alright, alright, alright. What are we doing here? Resources. Um, I thought I'm inheriting from Quest Step, which has a change. Oh, whoops, my bad. I commented this out really. Okay. That's what's going on there. Okay. Wait, what? You just donated bits. Hey, there it is, dude. Henry. Henry got the, the threshold, dude. I think the threshold is a 10. Text for man, appreciate that sub. 11.35 a.m. What are we up to now? I think we're up six six subos. Six big subaroos. Bits are more fun. Here's a, here's a few. Do I want more? I mean... 20. Hey, dude. I appreciate that, Henry. How many is that total for Henry now? Fifty. Nice, 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 nice. Um, just so you guys all know, I got uh monetized on YouTube today. Today we're now monetized. Can't wait to rake in my fucking three dollars a month now.
You don't need to have you flex. All right, come on, dude. Just because you got to like fucking nine mil views on your shorts, dog. How much money have I made so far? Zero. I don't know. How can I check? I don't even know how to check, to be honest. Is that big ding, dude? Ding is, did you know that you're number three in the chat on the leaderboard? I need Spader Bomb TikTok content so you can get on that $1. Well, that's what I said I need, I need to start doing tonight. Yeah, we actually, I need to do something real quick. Wait, dang, is number two? Wait, how do we see it? It's like uh, top. Oh shit, Dingers is number two. My bad. Look at that, dude. Colin JB and Dingers. It's fucking sweat is level 171. <laughs> what is that, dude? No one will ever pass me, dude. I don't. I really don't know if anyone will ever pass. You need to make a video on the whole Unity fiasco. It's still hot. That's what I was thinking, dude. I might. I might make one then when they release the next news. I should. I kind of missed the boat. I didn't. I wasn't thinking about it. I'm an idiot. But yeah, maybe when they release the next news, I'll just. I'll make a video. It'll probably be like this Friday. They'll release something at least. I could just release something. Maybe I'll get like 10k views. It'll be something. It's such a hot topic though. Yeah, it'll get clicks for a week or so. Drink more water? You're about to make me get a new water go. Basically done. Um, what was I just... Oh yeah, wait. Um, where's tech support here? on the list. Alright, you cracked the top 100. How about Henry? Henry, you're, gonna, you're starting over now. Not Henry from YouTube. Henry, ah. Uh, you're not even on the list yet. Sorry. Dingers, are you pro and god yet? Dingers, what have you been doing in life? Let's see, where's Brutus? Brutus is up there. Brutus is the... He's ascended very quickly. Up to number six. I'm impressed. Who else? Doc Edwards? Rest in peace. Anybody remember Doc? It's actually crazy, dude. We used to know a dude when we were playing Fortnite, and he was, he was just the nicest guy ever. He was so cool. Such a homie. Another streamer. Just... Just like a... I don't know, man. One of those guys who just like, there's no way he was, he ever made fun of anybody or had any beef with anybody. He was just the nicest dude ever. And then um, he got, we like, we somehow heard, like, I think through Twitter that he got in a car accident in Hawaii and died. Oh yeah, he also, yeah, he would give a lot of money and he like probably shouldn't have been giving money. But he would always say that he just did it because he wants to like support his homies in any way he can. There's a whole article about it, damn. Yeah, that shit was crazy, dude. It was weird though, like didn't we like, we didn't hear about him for like a while. Like, like a month. Like he just kind of like suddenly disappeared, like he would be in his streams every day. He, like, suddenly disappeared, and we didn't think too much of it, because it's, like, you know, it's online, streamer shit. And then, like, a month later, we just, like, heard that he got in a car accident. 
So weird. Big Raph. Raph reviews? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Big Raph, dude. Raph on. Man. He's my duo partner for a while. Grimy Badger, dude. I need, to, I need to go say what's up to this guy. Fellow game dev. He was in here a lot for a while. Raph VOD reviews? Who is Nick Tiffles? Dude. Who is that? I have no idea. What the hell? <laughs> Nick Dipples. What a fucking name. <laughs> Dude, I swear to god you guys. Fucking commands, man. Dude, what the hell? I don't think Mikey has one, dude. Dangling. <laughs> Wait, is there a spader? A spader's whooper? What is... It's just spader? Dude, rip. What is that, dude? <laughs> Sits calmly. Dude, who thought of that? <laughs> Dinger is better known as Ding. <laughs> what? Dude. What the hell? Okay, let's look at this really quick. So, this should probably be like a NPC game object. Did. 
It's kind of confusing. Mick is a firm... Wait, what's up? When did that... Oh, this kid just added it? Dude, that's not fair. How come he gets that? <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is the thing we walk. <laughs> this guy. How does this even make sense? Update state, change state. Oh, okay, okay. So we do we handle everything here. Then okay. I mean it's just I think it's really simple. It's just like if we talk to the NPC then Like like we're just gonna literally just call finish quest step here. I think that's it here. I don't think we ever need to actually update the state. <laughs> you can get off 2.20 AM? I do for sure. Good luck on this. Thanks, dude. Yeah, this is going to be a process, but we're definitely, we made good progress. Definitely got some quest shit. Is Brutus in the, in the chat still? Thanks for the bits, dude. I'll see you soon, dude. Don't, don't not come around again for a whole fucking week. All right, last water for you, for you. Cheers. This is crazy, dude. Doing PT. Okay. Let me know. Are you watching? Cause, um, I want to show you the quest shit that I've been doing. Update state. Alright, let me know when you're back. I'll show you some shit. Right, so we need to, um, misc events. Let's add in a, uh, let's add in a new action here. On NPC dialogue. NPC dialogue finish.
Nice little 500 view flatline in part 3 or what? Dude. I mean, it's just par for the course at this point. Like, I don't even know. I'm not even sure what to say. Like, I don't expect these other parts to pop off on their own anymore. It's just kind of feeding the beast. <laughs> this is all I'm doing. I'm, fe I'm milking the cash cow. That's the only reason I'm making them. They're not going to pop off on their own. I just already know it. Yeah, it's just, it's just kind of... What's crazy is I'm getting like very little suggest suggested views, only 13%. I thought I would be getting more. Kind of shows you their attention though, through like three videos, it's pretty low. Most people just fucking do the first one, maybe the second one, but to get someone to come to a third video and a fourth is like really hard, I think. I'm not, not really sure what to say though. Like the click through rate is, is fairly high. It's the highest of all three videos. So I don't know, dude, I just feel like there's something else going on. Like YouTube like somehow knows it's like part of a series and it just like doesn't want to push it. I don't fucking know. Maybe that's like a learning lesson for making multi-part series is like don't label them as parts. Like, you could put them in a playlist in some order, but maybe don't list, label them parts. Do you guys think that could be a thing? <laughs> like, they don't... Like, YouTube won't push, like, part 2 or part 3 if it's in a title. As hard as, like, one without it. Because, legit, if you look at, like... Let's look at part one. Five point one percent click through rate. And then this one is, oh, <laughs> it's also 5%, 5.1%, crazy. So my other, my third one is actually the highest of the three right now. So you'd expect it to get browse pushed a little bit, but it just isn't. Look at that crazy suggested videos, 61%. It's just literally like milking the cash cow, dude. That's all this video is. It's gotten, let's see it in total. In total, how have viewers found this? 46% suggested videos. It's it's so it's it's all content suggesting this video, build a it's my part one. So 88% of 46% of all views come from my part one. Which is something like close to 40% of all views. So this one went out in the world and it got, you know something like 8k views on its own but the other like 5k are from this one take a wild guess on what percentage split is for how viewers find my shorts first shorts feed percent shorts feed percent browse feature i'm just gonna guess like 98 percent shorts feed Brutus, you're back. That take on series not being pushed doesn't make sense. If the first part does well, they should want to push it more because it pretty much free viewer attention. Yeah. First world marketing is cheaper to retain customers and make new ones. True. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, part three isn't doing bad. Like, if we look at... Let's look at some more analytics real quick. So, how do you... There's like a way to, um, 
Is it on the dashboard? There's some way to like look at the most, like how it's doing relative to the other ones. I know how to do it on my phone. Let me look at it on my phone real quick. So basically... Where is it, dude? I forget where it is. Oh, ranking by views. Aw, oh, shit. The third one's actually doing significantly worse than the second. It's number 3 out of 10 for me, with 580 views in the first three days. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. AWS, ABS on fire, abs on fire. What is this quest system? All right, I'll show you. Except we have bugs. <sighs> Fuck, dude. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I don't update state. Because I'm looking at... Sorry, one sec. This updates the state, but this just finishes the step, so... I think we just need to finish the step, and it'll be fine. So then in dialogue, we'll just finish the step, and I don't even think we need an update state. I'll just comment it out for now. Set quest step state. Yeah, see, we don't need this. I think all we need is this. Dialogue quest. Why is it angry about this? What? Does not implement inherited abstract member set quest step state. Have to have this. Whatever, dude. Okay, let's get back into this. Did you ever play Space Engineers? No, I never played. Okay, so I'll show you what we got so far, Brutus. Okay, so basically we have this quest manager. I've been kind of using this YouTube video to model this all after. It's really, it's pretty slick, but there's definitely some changes I've been making to it. Because there's some definitely some lacking features, but um, so basically we have these quest icons, right? So like there's an exclamation point if a new quest is available. Um, we can go talk to him, and when you talk to him, it creates this prefab, which is like a quest step. So then the quest step is collect fish quest. And that has been designed by this list of quest steps that you add to a quest. And then in the hierarchy, there's a quest point, which I interacted with earlier. It's part of like the NPC here. So you can just add a quest point to an NPC. And then for the quest point, you add the quest. So I added that quest there. So that's how it all works. 
then it just loads in the current step. And basically this quest system just assumes you can only have one step at a time, which I think is totally fine. Um, it's a little bit limiting, but I don't think I need to get that crazy with it. Like, that's, that's going to be enough for me. Quest point is a radius. Yeah, basically. The quest point, like, it doesn't really matter too much. Like, the quest point holds the information for the quest, but the radius of the quest point itself doesn't matter too much if it's an NPC. Because, like, the quest is actually triggered by, like, talking to the NPC in this case. But in another case, the quest point could be triggered by just, like, walking to it. So in that case, like, if you just get to the quest point, then it will trigger. But you can... I have the flexibility to be like, the quest doesn't start... Basically, you don't start the quest until you call a specific function. Called like... Let's just call it like, start quest. And so start quest could be called by like... Either you could set up like, this collider... To like, um, trigger and call it automatically. Or you could call it manually through the NPC. Should call each type of quest point its specific action type. What do you what do you mean by that? Should call each type of quest point. Oh oh, like you're saying like this one should be named something? Like um Point trigger plus point radius. Oh, 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 I think I see what you're saying. Like, like you're saying this to be called like quest point NPC because it's like an NPC quest point. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of things I need to add. That's probably cool. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's, yeah, that's just descriptiveness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I agree, I agree. Um, it could get confusing how, like, quests are triggered if I don't do that, so I should have a naming scheme for that. Um, okay, so then let's go to the next part and show you how far I am in this. So basically now we have this object here that's monitoring changes in states so it subscribes to actions in unity and then what i've done here is that i've done basically like a fish collected gets called as um or it gets invoked as like a quest event if a fish is collected so that's just part of like the standard like you got a fish it invokes like this action which is like just a collect general collect fish and then the quest subscribes to that action. So the quest is now aware of any time a fish is ever caught. Okay, so then you can see this number increased because we collected a fish. Now we need to get to two to proceed. Okay, so then when it... When you get the amount that you need, then it automatically destroys itself, and then it calls a function called advanced quest. And then what advanced quest does is it looks in this list of steps and then it just sees if like the next step is null. And if it's not null, then it goes to the next one. And then it instantiates that prefab. So now we've instantiated a new prefab, which is the second step of this quest, which is catch three, three fish. You add that to Trello? Okay, I'll add that to Trello. Okay, and I, I haven't really done anything with like finishing a quest, but at this point, we have finished the quest. It calls some function called finish quest.
So yeah, that's where we're at. It's pretty, it's pretty slick overall, dude. I like it. I think it's gonna suit the needs that we have. The only tricky part is this prefab shit. I don't really like how this is set up. What I Because it's really annoying because right now I need to create a new prefab if I want to do a different number of fish. So I somehow... I somehow need to like be storing this number somewhere else. I'm just not really sure where. Nope, I'm not playing Valorant. Nope. Absolutely not. That's gonna be a hard no. there. Place top of Plat and Rocket League this season, going for champ. What's the top? What's the top division? Battle is the best game ever made. Tell that to a CSGO pro. Nah, Valor is actually the best game out there. It's the best competitive game out there. It's just facts. I know you want to hit Immortal. Dude, we, we might have been Immortal by now, dog. If we had just kept grinding for like another year. Imagine, imagine like all of our work over the whole last year. We Instead of that, we just got to Immortal. Imagine how much better you would feel about yourself. Just fucking dead bottom of a mortal. <laughs> Bronze, silver, gold, plaid, diamond, champion, grand champion, superstar, legend. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of divisions. Ugh, what is this? Dude, you guys, how... How are they just gonna fucking take this video away from me? Just absolutely zero life. Should I just change the thumbnail, see if it does anything? Change the thumbnail? Just make another vid. <laughs> All right, buddy. So in this case, we can drag on the NPC. Oh, the fuck? Wait. Can you not do that in a prefab? Can you not put it a... I don't think you can do this. Oh, that's annoying as shit. Oh. 
Wait. What? Oh. Nah, yeah, you can't put a fucking game object on there. God damn it. Nah, dude, this shit's ass. Oh, how can we do this, man? I think I just don't like this whole prefab approach. Well, I like the... Ugh, it's annoying because I like the prefab approach because you, like, instantiate it in here. And then it's its own mono behavior and, like, it can monitor, like, change events. Like, I think that you have to do that. So at some level, having the quest that be a mono behavior is or a prefab is really smart. But there has to be a way of like, I think I think somehow creating a constructor from data is the way to go. Oof, yeah. I don't know, man. It's kind of gnarly. Hankins over on YouTube says underscore dot. Cool, bro. I made a game with one line of code. Yeah, that's the next banger coming up. I made Minecraft with one line of code. Banger, 10 mil, 10 mil views, easy. That's my next like fun video, I think. I made a viral Minecraft server and... <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna do that? I didn't. <laughs> I'm not doing any more 24 hour shit, dude. That was ass to only get 3k views. Can't fucking sell part of my life for 3k views again. Just remake Skyblock, easy. I made Skyblock, but in Unity. Yeah, how can we reference this NPC? Maybe by ID? Ah, yeah, 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 wait, NPC data. Probably a good way of doing it. We made like 40k last month. Wait, what? Prison servers? Wait, what are you talking about? Okay, so we could do this. Wait. 
actually, wait, this is genius. I think what I do... I think this action takes in the NPC ID. And then from that NPC, we call NPC dialogue finish. If it's part of a quest, dialogue. Then that gets called with the NPC ID, and then over in the quest step, we match up that NPC ID. Let's do that. Stop saying free, what the fuck? Stop saying free. <laughs> what? This kid Mikey, bro, I swear to god. Okay, okay, let's try that. let's try this. Um string and NPC ID. Let me say if NPC ID equals NPC data down NPC ID. What the fuck is going on here? Then we finish the quest up. Ah, uh, it's a good. Yo, wait, actually, yeah, let's change this. Let's change how this works because this is ass. Dude, this guy was a genius. I saw this guy do such a good little trick in Unity. Um, he does on validate. If you're in the Unity editor, then the ID equals the name of the scriptable object, and you literally can't change it. It forces forces you to do it. And since every scriptable object has to have a different name inside of the same folder, this is a perfect way of making an ID and making it also readable. Such a good way. So we're gonna go and change instead of doing this fucking new GUID shit. Which makes this ass long string that's like entirely imparsable. We're gonna make a string. And then we're gonna do unvalidate. NPC ID equals this dot name. And then this is totally not gonna compile. Oh, it's actually compiling somehow. Okay, so then we go into Wise Old Man. Oh yeah, look at that. Wise Old Man. NPC ID is locked in. You can't even change it. Oh, that's fucking sick. Okay. This is an issue, though, so we need to go over into this, and it needs to take in a parameter. We make Realm Real? Dude, shut up. God damn it. I swear to god, what is that happy- what is that little V happy face? Mr. Colin JB? I haven't seen that one before. Is that like a- you're looking straight down this goose? Game is actually good, but lacked a lot of things. I don't know how Realm Royale wasn't- I guess- didn't they like fuck it up somehow? What's the story behind why Realm Royale like crashed and burned? I'm getting pushed, I'm gonna portal. Dude, someone find that- that clip of me getting super ultra pissed off at dingers. It's actually probably the funniest gaming clip I've ever been part of.
No updates? Sad. Okay, we define the action, but then the action has a string NPC ID. Why do you tell an action to take a... I forget. Shit. Oh, okay. I take this action except string of units. Go in chat GPT first time in the night. Oh wait, that's a lie. We used it earlier. Right at the beginning of the stream we used it. I failed you, Brutus. Fuck? Is this really the best way to do it? I'm gonna ask that again because let's use a uh, bind instead. I feel like that is there's there's definitely a better way to do this. Is that, can I use lambda functions to do this instead? There's there's a way to do this with lambda functions. I'm pretty sure. I just can't remember. This is pretty ass. Or I could just ask Google. Make this thing set string. Barry Doster Studio, yo, what's up, man? Remember, uh, ChatGPT does not know about Unity changed after 2021. The ChatGPT model only knows about the word prior to 2021. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes I have to go to, over to find. Ah, oh, shit. Fine, fine knows about things way more recent. How you doing though, bro? What you working on? About to grind out some Overwatch 2? Uh, no, dude. Overwatch 2 is just the most ass game ever, man. I hate that game. Remember when we tried to be good at that game, dog? And I was just horrendous. <laughs> Maybe some Val, maybe some start Stardew Valley, that's where it's at, dude. Play some Stardew Valley, get that grind on. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. You're like, yo, action string. Easy, dude. ChatGPT 3.5, you suck. Fine, you rule. I only play Overwatch with the skins in the Bauhaus and I'm done. GG's, there you go. Nah, I was just terrible at that game. I wish I would have played if I was better, but I just couldn't get into it. 
Okay, so hopefully what this does now is when the NPC dialog finish action is called, it should call this with the NPC ID, and then if it's equal to this quest steps NPC ID, then we finish it. So let's let's just hard code this shit real quick. Because the next thing I have to do is really annoying. I just want to test it out. So let's go into dialogue manager. God, this game is getting big, man. It's not good. Okay, we're just going to set it, we're just going to hard code it in, uh, in here. We're just going to say events, game events manager dot instance dot, uh, let's events dot NPC dialog finish. And of course, we don't know what the NPC ID is here. We really should have access to that in the dialogue. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. What do I call enter dialogue mode? Just gives a story. Yeah, this, this should pass in like the NPC. as well. Alright, whatever. We'll just hard code this wise old man for testing right now. I only play Overwatch. Oh wait. Game's getting smaller? J Dog, what's up dude? What do you what do you mean game's getting smaller? J Dog, you're up early, dude. So the game's getting bigger. Oh, I was talking about this game, I think. Not Overwatch. This game is getting bigger. The number of fucking raw scripts. J Dog, actually, I'm excited you're here because I can show you the quest system. Pretty, I'm pretty hyped on it. And grinding. Let's see if this... Oh, wait. Before we do that. Let's see if this works. So let's add our dialogue quest step, I guess. I have to change this shit. This shit's a little ass, but... Um, collect fish quest up. There we go. Okay. So our first step is to talk to the NPC. Our second step is to collect the fish. Let's try it. Okay, so we need to go talk to this guy to start the quest. We have a little exclamation point. Okay, so... The quest has been started, which instantiates this current step. So under the quest manager, we have our dialogue quest step. Our current quest step is a dialogue quest step, and we need to talk to this NPC, basically. And i have trying to trigger it such that... Perfect, yeah. So when we finish the conversation there, 
it um, completed that step and it spawned the new step. So now we have to go collect fish. Now this has like a multi-part step. So we collected a fish, it counted up one. Collected a fish and it destroyed our quest step and it completed the quest. So we're good now. Let's try one more thing. Let's try adding this again to the end so that we need to go back and talk to him again at the end. And then I'm also going to make quest point start and quest point finish. Oh wait, actually sorry. I think I made it such that this can be both a start and a finish, if we just click both of those. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I need to clear my fucking player graphs. Okay, started the quest, we finished quest part one, now we gotta go fish a couple fish. Okay, so now I think it's not showing this because we need to talk to him again, which is a little odd. Yeah, okay, so now that we talked to him again, now it shows that we can complete the quest. Yep, now we complete it, okay. Interesting. Crazy. Okay, well. Next thing is to call this from Inky. Which could be hard. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what we were doing here.
Okay, and let's go over into uh, C sharp. And we're going to go back to this current story dot set the current not whatever that variable is so that it resets our dialog not really sure if this is the best way to handle this but I'm going with it okay dog what you got in store for today you got to go into work or do you work from home Um, okay, let's go talk to this guy. What? Uh, shit. Ah, uh, it's kind of dumb. Yeah. This is kind of weird. Working from me good old home. Not sure what else I have in store. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I'm trying to use Inky here for the conversations. The big things that I haven't worked out yet are like how to call a C sharp function from Ink. I'm also just not sure if I should use Ink, but at this point, but uh, I I do. The one thing I love about Inky is that you can like write in an editor and like the story has like some chronological ordering to it and it's really easy to see it would be kind of asked to write all this in like .cs file or something or even a even like a scriptable object that'd be ass so i want to be able to use this but there's definitely some like things i need to figure out one is calling a C sharp function from here. I know you can do it. I just need to figure it out. But the art, the other one that's going to be a little bit harder is like going to different points in the story, like setting the not. So what these like equal places are called. Setting the not um, via a C sharp script. Not sure how you do that. The best. Well, actually, okay, I know how to set the knot. But it's kind of weird because then you have to, like, call this knot string. But then I'm thinking, like, that, that could have some pretty bad implications for if you have, like, two quests going on at a time. So then, like, you can imagine you do, like, two quests and then you need to talk to the same NPC in both quests. And then, like, you do the second quest, and then it, like, sets it to a certain knot. And then that basically, like, forces you to not only do that second quest, and then only once you've done the second quest does it proceed. But then that other quest, the first quest that you had, now, when you proceed it over here, you, like, no longer can proceed in the same way because you set the knot back there. <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. I don't know how to think about that shit. The value in Ink Inky is that it was used to make successful games. 
I, mean, I don't I see the value of it. I think I'm just my issue is like I don't know how to use it. <laughs> but yeah, mul multiple ongoing quests is pretty fucked up. If you really start thinking about possibilities. What I think that I should do is I should have some global variable like ink file because I know you can do that. And then I should like restart the story every time I talk to an NPC. And then based on those global variables in the ink file, it goes to like a certain knot. So then you can imagine that I have like a list of all my quests and then each of the quests has like a state assigned to it. And then depending on those states, you go to like certain places in the conversation. And then if you did it that way, you could even check like multiple different states. And then you could create multiple op dialogue options from that. So I could I could see how you could do that and it would be fine. But yeah, it gets the, my, my biggest problem with it is the conversion between like C sharp and inky. It seems like you have to like almost like hard code values in and that always bothers me. I can't find a way around like hard coding in. Like, oh, I have to go to this knot if the quest state is in this value in the inky file. But then like what happens if I then change my quest in C sharp? Like I I add a step or something. Now that totally fucks up everything. Now I have to like go track down that number in the globals and then I need to go track it down in like every single NPC conversation and I need to change them all manually? Like that sounds like ass. I think you're confusing dialogue and quest systems there, but, but you have to set dialogue based on quests, right? There are certain parts of the game that are always that way. Yeah, I mean, I understand that there's going to be manual things, but, like, I would rather just have to change it in one place. In one place only. And then everything else kind of feeds off of that. But I, I, can't, I can't figure out a workflow where you have to, like, do all this manual editing in an inky file if you make a change in Unity. Seems kind of annoying. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna keep trying to use Inky. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, for a quest system, yeah, you might have to do some manual shit like that. Like, what's I guess what's the alternative? Say you have three steps, and there's a dialogue that correspond to each of those three, and then you're like, wait, I'm gonna add a fourth step. But like say the fourth step was like before all the other three. So now like the I mean you can make a dictionary like in C sharp of that conversation to that quest step, and that would be more robust. Cause then if you add a step in, then it doesn't change that dictionary pair. Yeah, I don't know. It's that that's one of the things that's been really bothering me about all this quest and dialogue system. Trying to figure out that the easiest best way to like pair quest steps and dialogue and just kind of handle it all automatically. Okay, anyways. I'm not setting current knots. Yeah, we just need to change this. What are you waiting for? Go catch a fish. We don't need this. Wow, nice catch. So what we would need to do is set yeah, the caught fish not manually in Unity right now. That's the only way to get to it. Which makes sense. 
Okay. So let's try this again. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Did not save. Okay, so it compiled. Welcome to Zen Fisher. Running out by the lake. Okay, so now if I talk to him again. Yeah, he says, What are you waiting for? Go catch a fish. It repeats this line properly. So that's good. Okay, we finished the conversation, and yeah, it calls the next step. Good. Then we can complete the quest. So that's it's all working. Yeah, let's look up um, this dude. I know this dude has like a... Trevor Mock, dude. This guy's a legend. Look at this. What is this uh, comment? Jesus loves y'all. If y'all didn't know, come to Christ. Repent, non-denominational. Jesus loves y'all. If y'all didn't know, come to Christ. Repent, non-denominational. <laughs> what is this, dude? God damn it. Playlists. Uh, eight videos. This one right here. Ink plus dialogue system. How to call C sharp code from an ink. Are we ready for this right now, or is it too late? External start quest. Uh, what do we want to call it? It's this like... We want to call... Oh god. It's too late. <laughs> See, it might be too late for this, honestly. I might just go to bed. This looks kind of fucked because I need to pass in a parameter. But let's call it, um, okay, we'll just call it NPC dialog finish. Let's see how hard this is. Oh, you can pass. Okay. He does it with a quest ID. That's nice. But we're going to do NPC ID. Okay, cool. So then we can just do at the end of this conversation, then we just call quest. Uh, let's call it wise old man. Okay. 
Oh, we missed it earlier. Is it was earlier? Okay, beautiful. So then we just have to say. Uh, it's gonna get kind of ugly though. Enter dialog mode. Okay, and then this is just this guy right here. It's actually pretty easy overall, all things considered. Okay, um, let's comment this out. Let's see if it happens. Did I save the ink file? Okay, so we're going to go talk to this guy. So we have this quest step, which is to talk to the wise old man, which means we need to finish the conversation. Welcome to Zen Fisher. Okay, this is the last line of dialogue. Right now, and it should complete this step. Oh my god. Oh. It did it, it did it, but it like, um, I think, I think I know what it is. It like thought this was like a line of code. So I think we can do this syntax. Oh no. Yes or no? Or should I put it on the same line as this instead? Ugh. It's so fucking annoying. Can you end on the same line? Dude! So annoying. What did he do? Sharp side. This can be really 
useful for triggering just about anything in your game from the dialogue. A few examples that come to mind for me would be playing the sound or if you're not from the a single one of the dialogue file. In my own experience, more information dealing data feels fine and more direct. Feels for time, we could argue that changing the speaker of the dialogue is an action that has little to do with the line of dialogue itself and hence change the speaker using external functions instead. Each way is a fine way to go about it and especially for less references. We may note this because it was created with Unity such that you see it's slash calls into tables and handling and tags. I've also already set up these exclamation and question mark emotes to save us some time but we'll still take a look at how they work once we get to that section of the video for anybody that's curious. As for implementing an and external function, like mentioned earlier there are a couple parts to this that we need to set up. First we need to declare the external function in the ink dialogue file that we want to call it from. And this ink file in particular corresponds to the dialogue when we talk to this green NPC. At the top, we'll declare an external function called play emote with this line here. Note, we have this method here that happens whenever we enter the, among some other things, the call.fuck file ink to note this green ink dialogue that we've made. That hand to point just in here is that this function binding matches what you're doing in the ink dialogue file. And for now, just this ending the Find the chin from first with the tilde symbol and then call some hand emote ink to see we will need to work in as a form or question, but let's take a look at what type that we wanted to play. Showing that the external function is ink to see, we will need to end with the console statement with the emote we wanted to play, showing that the external function is set up and working as expected. Next, let's set this up to do something a bit more interesting and have the function play these exclamation or question mark emotes. Like I briefly mentioned earlier, I've already set up as the mm. with the exclamation and still a mention animator with some case setting it as chill out with case we can make by adding a parameter for the emote animator when we enter dialog mode then in the found external function we'll play that animator also where we're creating the ink story and listening to variable changes among some other things we always do when entering dialog for this system in particular what we need to do here is start listening for calls to that play emote function whenever that's called in the kernel story we can do this what we declared in the ink that here in the debug so that pretty much back in the ink file we can call the play emote function values we want for the emote mode variable and for now we'll pass it an emote name of exclamation. Then we can jump into play mode to see if this is working. We'll see that when that the external function is set up and working as expected. Question but let's a state in XP0 so the emote transition where we have a fade in and pop up above the NPC. There's also a slight I mean I can make a check in Unity. Like if it's it's a little bit odd. So we bind the external function. So the external function is running when we're exiting dialog mode. How do we get to exit dialog mode? If our st current story can continue and the dialogue option buttons are zero, are, there's none. So it's basically saying it can't continue at that line. So weird. Okay, I have an, I have a new idea. What if I put it between these two lines? What happens? So it should be happening on this line. You know, to be honest with you, maybe that's actually fine. If you put the external function on the line before the last one, that means that you got to the last one. Therefore, it should count as you finishing the conversation, right? Because I could press escape right now in the game, and it would actually technically not count as, like, finishing the story.
Doing some weird behavior though. That worked fine. NPC dialogue finish has already been bound. Oh no. I like quest up. Oh, I know it's happening. Okay. We've just already bound this method. Not sure what this function does, but it sounds promising. story uh, validate external bindings
Or can we do a try catch block here maybe or try accept whatever? I guess for now we're gonna have to change that anyways at some point so crazy how many bugs we have in this game right now it's fucking ridiculous I'm gonna have to just go on like a bug smashing weekend one of these days Once we get the whole, like, quest system set up, I'm just gonna fucking smash bugs for a few days, honestly. Try out a bunch of really weird edge cases. Okay, yeah, it just logs it now. It's fine. What was I even trying to do? I can't remember. But I should probably go to bed. I mean, we, we kind of achieved what I wanted to achieve, I guess. I guess the, the main point... Yeah, the main thing that I'm worried about is that... Hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not going quite yet. <laughs> I know you want to see me sleep, but... I just want to try one little thing here. I just want to think, okay, so basically we run this line, then we continue the story. I'm pretty sure it then runs this function and shows this line at the same time now. Let me make sure of that though. Let's log... It's gonna log when we finish the dialogue now. Just wanna make sure this works. Do you do you agree, Brutus? So like say you have four steps in your dialogue. I click through the first, second, and then I get to the third. So obviously when you're on the third out of four, and then you exit out of the dialogue, like it shouldn't count as completing that dialogue. 
but should you have to just get to the fourth one or should you have to confirm the fourth one? I think just getting to the fourth one, right? Counts. Like if you pressed, if you got to the fourth one, but then you pressed escape, that should be the same thing as getting to the fourth one and pressing like a confirm. I think I answered my, oh, my own question. It's pretty obviously if you get to the last one, it doesn't matter if you confirm or not. You just, you automatically accept it right then and there. As completed. We have to reset this shit. Okay, so we're on one, two, three. Has not been called yet. Now we press the fourth one. Dialogue finished. Um, and you can see that we are now on to the next step. So even if I were to press escape there, then we would be chilling. Let's just see though if that causes some type of weird error. Nope, we're good. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Okay. So we got Inky. Calling C-sharp functions, progressing our quests. That's pretty sick. The thing that I'm gonna have to do next is set knots from C-sharp, which is, I've already done this. But I need to figure out a good system. I need to think on this, so I'm gonna get off. I'm here just not typing. All right, well, I'm about to not be here. I'm getting off. You know, I'm going to bed. Peace. No, but I'll, uh... I'll probably be live Thursday, maybe Friday. Depends. Depends on the week. We'll see you guys. Raid time? Actually, yeah. Let's do a, let's do a little raid. We can find somebody to raid real quick. Keep, I, I forget to do raids. I need to remember to do them. This man had all caps on, dude. Anybody on that I know? Oh, this guy's too popular. He doesn't know me. Oh my god, dude. Coding with Strangers has 91 viewers right now? Man, it's just popping off. I wonder if he got raided. Good luck, raiders. Okay, I think he got raided. <laughs> we could we could raid him, because he's raided us before, or we could raid someone else. What do you guys think? Double raid, what? Goodbye, Unity. Hello, C. <laughs> Unity Dev tries Godot in C sharp. Oh, I already read this guy. Fuck it. Mr. Macnova.
come out in the inspector, but if it's private, you have to put um, to get a three year ICO. So it's kind of like what this is doing, except you do it for both public and private from what I understand. Um, you export all of them if you want them to be um, editable at the end or not <laughs> edited, editable in the inspector. Um, oh, well, it's just getting developed. Yeah. What's going on? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. How was your stream? How was your stream, guys? I hope all of you guys are doing well on this fine night. I am getting sleepy. I will go to sleep soon. Um, my name is Mr. Magnolia. 